wife got a pulled pork sandwich and onion rings. I got a two meat combo dinner with brisket and pulled pork. I got dirty rice for a side and baked beans. Let me show you what it looks like. Put a few onion rings in there. Here's the brisket. Down here's the pulled pork. Baked beans look really good, and I just took the dirty rice because they say it's really good. Night of the Living Barbecue Sauce. There's the original. Let's dig in. Dirty rice. Mm. Oh, man, that's good. You can try it if you want. It's really good. Got the beans. Oh, do you really? Okay, yeah. I figured it had to be something like that. I'm yeah, like... we were traveling, coming back from Montana. We live in Arkansas, and I said we really need to do another Kansas City. So sure. we looked up Joe's, and that seemed to be where, where's your channel? Preacher's Day Off. Cool. It ain't cool. just barbecue; it's all kinds all of stuff. Kinds of That's stuff. part of it. Cool, man.
I'm not gonna waste that. So there's just the sopping bread that catches the grease. I'm not gonna waste that pickle either. Gone. Got that gone. Mm. Root beer gone. You know the routine. Let's go to the car and recap. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. It's good. It's real good. These are people that really know how to make barbecue. I did a video. Real time was yesterday. It may be a few days before y'all see it. But I ate a barbecue place called Skeeter Barnes in Kearney, Nebraska. And I was... It was okay barbecue. It wasn't bad. Um, but when you eat something like... You know, okay barbecue. You know, good for the region it's in. Best barbecue around. And then you go and you eat something like Joe's Kansas City Barbecue, which is really award-winning. Man, there is a noticeable difference. So let me take you through what we liked about it. Number one, when you walk in the door, Johnny Cash is playing. Then you hear some blues. And then you hear Elvis. Then you hear another classic country song. That kind of mixture of classics puts me in the mood to consume smoked meat and it enhances the flavor. Good music can enhance the flavor of good barbecue. So the inside is nice. The building is new. We're in a nice part of town. I mean, this is... Uh, I think that's an Ikea grill over there. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But this is a nice place, a nice part of town. And, and the building is nice. It's decorated on the inside. They know how to serve barbecue. You go through the line, you order, you get to the end of line, your food is waiting on you with your receipt. They cycle a lot of people through that building. That was a big dining floor. Keep in mind, we're in the COVID pandemic, and their carryout business is just cranking. They have a, a go in and order and bring it out. They'll bring it out to your car. There's a whole bunch of different ways to get barbecue. This place is hopping, and they know how to serve customers. They get you in. They get you fed. Everything's well put together. These people know what they're doing. Sometimes good barbecue is only found in a dump. <laughs> this was a really nice place. So all that aside, let's talk about the actual food. I had the brisket, and it was sliced thin, but it was still pulled apart. As you saw, I mean, you could just pick it up. It held together. You put a little pressure on it, it pulled apart easily. There was not a lot of fat on it. It was trimmed well. It had a mild smoke to it. It was it was really, really good brisket. Um, the pulled pork was the same way. You had big chunks. It wasn't chopped to a Bolivian. It wasn't shredded to uh, something that looked like it belonged in chicken and dumplings. There were big chunks of it, but when you pick those big chunks up, the fibers pulled apart real easy. Very tender. There again, light smoke flavor. Two sauces. I like them both. I preferred the Night of the Living barbecue sauce, I think is what it was called. A little spicier, I thought. Baked beans, very good baked beans. I tried to identify what was in there. There's at least three, maybe four different kinds of beans in their barbecue beans. The uh, They're very good. They're not overly sweet. They're, they are peppery. You do get a black pepper taste. Um, there were a lot of chunks of brisket in there. I thought the beans were excellent. Uh, probably top 10 ba uh, barbecue beans of all time for me. Um, I had the uh, dirty rice. Very good. If you like Cajun food, if you like Delta style cooking, the dirty rice to me was, man, it was excellent. All in all, I, th I would give this place a 9 out of 10. You know, I would say if you're in Kansas City, I've only eaten one or two other places in Kansas City. And I'm sure everybody's got their favorites. But one thing you know about barbecue, good barbecue is good barbecue. Whether you're eating it in North Carolina, St. Louis, Memphis, Kansas City, or Texas. If it's prepared properly and the business is ran properly, you'll have a good barbecue experience every time. If you're in Kansas City, 
I recommend Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. We ate at the location that is located south of Kansas City. I don't exactly know where we're even at. Yeah, we're in Leewood, Kansas, just outside of Kansas City. That's the place we ate. You may find another. Anyways, can't recommend it enough. If you're in Kansas City, do yourself a favor. Eat here. Don't eat Arthur Bryant's. Whoa. That place was awful. We had it a few years ago before I was doing barbecue reviews. And it might have been great at one time in history. But it wasn't the day we ate there. It wasn't even close to great. So if you're here, I recommend Joe's. Oh, thanks for watching.